what I'm going to do is a product review of the Dayton Audio 8-inch passive radiator speakers. Uh, I was uh, this last weekend at Goodwill, and I picked up these these old Fisher uh, 730 cabinets, and both of them were missing the old passive radiator uh, speaker. So I picked them up, and uh, and then I came home and I was like, well, I got to find speakers. So I went online and I found these Dayton Audio 8-inch passive woofers, and uh, I checked the size, and they'll fit, they're supposed to fit in the uh, in the cutout. And these are the these are what they look like. They're real nice looking, and they have an adjustment screw uh, for tuning the, the the woofer. I don't really know how to do that, either, but that's what they have. And uh, so we're going to set it up, and uh, I'll show you what we did over here. Is uh, I had to rasp out the inside of this uh, once we took the beauty ring off. I had to rasp it out so that I could get the r outer rims centered inside these uh, beauty ring holes and uh, it just so happened that these would barely fit around the outside of this rim so we got lucky there and uh, don't have to do anything except center these up and we'll get them hooked up and then we can do our review we can do our test see how they sound okay so we've got the uh, speaker mounted on here and we just use these uh, like inch, uh, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth wood screws and um, so we put that in and now we're going to put the uh, beauty room over the top. This stuff was all rotted out on the inside of this foam so we're just going to replace it with weather stripping. I think this is three eighths or something weather stripping. Just cut it off, put it around on the inside and it'll keep this uh, from vibrating. We're just about ready to, to test these speakers. Um, and uh, one last thing about the about these beauty rings, I had to use uh, center foam under them. No big deal, but thought I'd mention that. Mm -hmm. 